Hello there, this is a quick video to annex uh, the previous video I did. See the picture there? Click on that if you want to go and see that. But comparing the Evo versus the Pro of the Samsung 850, the SSD with the new 3D NAND tech. Well, this video is just, I put those drives together in the RAID 0 configuration. RAID 0 is basically striped. It's a, it's a risky uh, setup. If one of the drives goes down, you lose everything on both drives because it, it puts the data from say one file across two different drives that you put into the RAID 0 configuration so it can read both of them at the same time. So this video is just really to compare the speeds to the, the previous test I did in the last video to the RAID 0 so you can see what kind of benefit does that give you? Is it worth the risk? Uh, maybe like me you bought the drive when they were $400 for say the 512 and now you can get one for 150 so it's worth sticking them together. You'll end up with a double the space still but and we'll, we'll show you how much faster it, it could possibly get. Now you can put different drives together. I have the Evo and the Pro as a RAID 0. I lose a 12 gig because it'll use the smaller size and uh, so that, that's about the only difference. Okay, the tools I used in the previous video, if you didn't see it, I, I used four different programs. There was HD Tune, HD Tac, Crystal Mark, and the software from Samsung themselves, the Samsung Mag Magician. So we'll start off with the HD Tune. Okay, this is sped up with a little bit cut out because this takes test for a while. So down below we got from the previous video the EVO and the Pro, and up above we have the the RAID Zeros configuration of those two. So if we jump to the the summary of those in the little table on the right. You can see the RAID, the averages. Look at the averages. We've got uh, a gig per second. Lovely, lovely. And uh, the the others were. 450 or 428, 424, so similar. Access is kind of in between, but we're talking about 10, 10 thousandths of a millisecond there, so it's ridiculous uh, how fast the access time is. Uh, a lot faster than the old conventional hard drives. And CPU usage is up is, is up 30%. Maybe that's just because it's dealing with so much data. All right, let's move on to uh, the next little test. This is still within uh, HD Tune. It's the random access test. So it basically does random access, but it does, I think, three or four different file sizes. And then random file sizes. So you can see here our list for the, the three different drives that we had in the old video. What I'll do, I'll trim out the, the, the better result one, which I think was the Evo on this, and compare that to the, the RAID. What I find interesting in this is the RAID is not actually as good with the smaller files as the... Uh, as the Evo, standalone Evo, but but as soon as you get to the larger file sizes, the the RAID is better. I think for an operating system, it's important that a lot of the f files, especially the access speed, are pretty small. If you search under 10k in Windows uh, system folder, there's probably like six or seven files and files. So this points that the standalone could be a little bit better in that case, or maybe it's just HD Tune. Uh, we'll see later on in the different pack in a different. This is onto the file transfer speed. Uh, below got the Evo, because that was the fastest in the Pro in the previous test, and the RAID 0. And uh, you can see here the RAID's marginally higher, 250 meg on average. But mid range, uh, you know, small file uh, is. Okay, this is HD TAC, pretty simple work, one button click test. I left the old Intel uh, RAID I have on just to show you the burst speed there because it's impressive too. But the burst speed's up to 34, 52 megabytes per second on the on the yeah, Samsung RAID. Now here the the average speed is 500 on the Intel, uh, 440 on the Evo uh, for the Samsung, and oh, average uh, gigabit for uh, or gigabyte sorry for the for the new RAID setup. Uh, here we have Crystal Mark. Really good free software, crystalmark.info if you want to download it. Uh, it's really simple, it gives you a, a four different tests for, for read and write. Changing the five size of the file size. I think this shows that the, uh, the with the larger files it's uh, you get the full speed of the RAID, but when you get down to the smaller file size, transfer file size, or package sizes, whatever it is, uh, it becomes a, a not, not as big improvement or even slower to have the RAID than single drive. Okay and then on to 
last and probably least, the Samsung software, Samsung Magician. You can download it for free. This works with any drive as well. You don't need Samsung drives. It actually doesn't know the, the Samsung drives are Samsung because of the Intel RAID. It thinks they're it registered some Intel drives. So you, that's kind of a negative. You lose that ability with the Magician software to firmware upgrades and things like that. Also, negatives with this is if you currently have a C drive and you want to upgrade to RAID, you do have to format it. You have got the extra risk that if one drive goes down, you lose everything. But it's all in the name of speed. And uh, especially this week with some Black Friday deals in the US, I think in the UK now as well, you might be able to pick up some of these drives pretty cheap. So it could be an option to get an extra one or just get two and put them straight into RAID, go all out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I will do an NVMe one, I think, if if I acquire one soon. And, uh, and I'll annex that on as well. Uh, thanks very much. Hope you like it. And leave comments if you have any opinions or any thoughts about it. Cheers. Bye-bye.